Hi guys, so let's look at this question here. Uh, this question from CAT 2020 slot one, a very good question. Okay, this question here says that how many distinct positive integer valued solutions exist to this equation? Okay, x square minus seven x plus eleven raised to x square minus thirteen x plus forty two is equal to one. So it's a very good question, a bit difficult one. Okay, so we need to understand few concepts before we can solve such question. The fund that required is C. Actually, it is given that the form is a raised to b is equal to one. Okay, so when does this happen, right? So it's happen. It happens when when a is equal to one. So this a is the base and b is the power. That means when base is equal to one, so one raised to anything is always one. Second thing is when power is zero. That is when b is zero. So when power is zero, that means base is any 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 number and any number raised to zero is always one. And third thing is any my always minus one raised to even power is always one, so minus one raised to even power is always one. So these three things are the possibilities here. Let's check them one by one. Okay, so let's check the first one. So when base is this is this can be true when base will be equal to one. So x square minus seven x plus eleven is equal to one. That means x square minus seven x plus ten equal to zero. That means x square minus five x minus two x Plus ten equal to zero, so I can solve it. So I'll take uh, it becomes actually x minus five, okay, and then x minus two. Okay, so x minus five into x minus two is equal to zero. So that means x will be equal to two or five. Okay, so we can check this. After that, this is our first condition. Let's form the second condition here. Okay, so second condition here says that b should be equal to zero. Zero that means power is zero. So x square minus thirteen x plus forty two is equal to zero. I can solve it seven and six. So x square minus seven x minus six x plus forty two is equal to zero. X into x minus seven minus six into x minus seven is equal to zero. So x minus seven into x minus six is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to six or seven. Okay, that is second condition here. Fine. Okay, now let's look at the third condition now. Okay. So let's look at this third condition here. Third condition base should should be minus minus one. So x square minus seven x plus eleven is equal to minus one. So x square minus seven x plus twelve is equal to zero. I can break into four and three, right? So minus four x. Minus three x plus twelve is equal to zero. So x into x minus four minus three into x minus four is equal to zero. So I can take x minus four as common. So x minus four into x minus three is zero. So x can be equal to x can be equal to three or four. That's the three conditions. So I need to check that. So it basically minus one should to the power uh, minus one uh, even power should be one, right? So at x equal to three and four, the power should be even also. If I check here. So x, if I put x equal to three, so three square nine minus thirty nine minus uh, plus forty two, x x equal to three power is even. If I put x equal to four also, so four square is even, even and again even, right? So four also it is even. So that means it is correct. Three over that is fine. So I got six values as my answer here, guys. Okay. So the answer for this question will be six values. So my answer will be here. I got uh, six values. That is x equal to two, five, six, seven, three, and four. This is the answer for this question. So very good question, very conceptual question. So that they asked in twenty twenty slot one, and we already already did this in class. So many students just saw this question and marked six as the answer. Okay, so that was also good. Okay, chalo. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Also, guys, this is what an academy is offering. So there is a, a price drop here, twenty percent price drop for the month of, on month of April. Our last day is April twenty five to twenty eight. You can use my referral code Ravi Roda to avail this discount. Okay. Also, uh, this is what an academy is offering in complete. So we have got some twenty five k plus practice questions in our uh, practice section. Okay, we have got twenty five plus full length mock, sixty sectional tests. Uh, skill builder tests, full length mocks for other exams other than CAT, uh, then general knowledge tests, so batch specific tests, so a lot of things we have uh, we are uh, offering this year. 
uh, along with the complete uh, package so you, if you wish to enroll to these courses you can always use my referral code Ravi Rodha okay and the last date is 28th of April to avail this for 20% discount thank you